Hello Year 7 and welcome to your music lessons. This is your first music lesson uh, with Africa, on African djembe and rhythm. Uh, so rhythm is what we'll be looking to over this video. And then your African djembe is a research project that you will find on class charts. Uh, to start off, the video to help you can be found on your YouTube channel, hopefully titled under what Year 7 Music Lesson. When it comes to uploading any work, I ask you to complete as well during these videos. Uh, you can upload them to class charts. Uh, you can upload this during a Word document or a PowerPoint. You can screenshot the work and upload it then, or you can even just take a picture of the written work that you have done and upload it that way. Now, less objectives for this section. Uh, at, so to understand what pulse and a basic rhythm. So that basically means to start off with, at a very basic level, you should be able to clap along with a song of your choice and thereby, thereby be able to clap the pulse of a song. When you're a bit better at that, in the middle, the yellow box, you are able to read and clap a basic rhythm. And then as you get better at that, in the green box, you are able to write and clap your own rhythms. Okay, so that's as we go along today. First off, what is pulse? Pulse is a steady beat like a ticking clock or a heartbeat. So basically, if you listen to any song, if you've ever listened to a song, if you nod your head along to that song, or you tap your foot along to that song, you are nodding your head or tapping your foot along to the pulse of that song. All right? It's like that thing that keeps everything in time. Whenever, when anyone's playing and uh, two musicians are playing along together, they are playing at the same pulse. They may be playing two different parts, but the pulse is the same. All right? Sometimes we, you can see it as beats per minute or BPM. Uh, but every song has a pulse. It could be faster, it could be slower, but the pulse is always there. Every song has a pulse. So first task I'd like you to do is to pick a song of your choice, any song. I'd like you to have a go at clapping in time with the pulse of the song. So here's a little example for you. I've selected a song called Back in Black by ACDC, and I'll talk through it and clap along. You'll hear me clapping along to the pulse of the song. So we've got the song there, playing. Get used to the song, nod your head along to it, or tap your foot along to it, and when you get used to it, you can then clap along to it. So the pulse as we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now start clap along to it. Three, four. Like that. Um, I'm not going to do the whole song because we got short on time with this video, but I'd like you to have a go at doing the whole song. That's kind of your challenge, trying to clap the pulse, and you'll see how the pulse stays exactly the same the whole time, even when the songs change, the sections of the song change, the speed, the speed of the instruments changes. That does not matter. The pulse of the song will stay the same. This drums us along to rhythm. Now, rhythm is a pattern of long and short sounds as you move through a song. So while the pulse is kind of this never changing thing, the rhythm can change around it. And you can see the pulse stays exactly the same. Now, if this is still confusing to you, I have put a link um, below on the PowerPoint in the sort of little uh, link section, notes section. Uh, to a BBC bite-sized um, video that will help explain it a bit more if you're really struggling. Uh, but we'll be looking into it a lot more. Uh, to create rhythms, we combine crotchets and quavers. And to help us remember these rhythms, we use the words tea and coffee. So uh, we have a crotchet, which is the one on the left. That is where we use the word tea. And that means because it's only got one syllable, we clap once. Tea. Then on the right, we have coffee. Now, coffee has two syllables. Coffee, coffee. So that means we clap twice, once for co and once for fee. Coffee. So you basically learn to clap every pulse. You should either clap T or you should clap coffee. So if we've got a pulse like this, you can hear T, 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 and then coffee will be twice as fast. Coffee, 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 T, coffee. And then we mix those up to create rhythms. So this is your last task, and this task I would like you to write down 
and upload what I've asked you to do so I can see that you've done it and make sure you upload this by the end of this lesson. Uh, the task is to write out the words for rhythms two and three and try clapping in time with the pulse. So rhythm one I've given you already. Uh, it's tea, tea, coffee, tea, as you can see there. So you can know that and you can clap the rhythm with the pulse. So if you've got a pulse of one, two, three, four, you can clap. Tea, tea, coffee, tea, 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 coffee, tea, as you can hear. All right. I'd like you to do the same idea for rhythms two and three. I'd like you to write tea or coffee underneath, and then I would like you to have, um, clap, have a go at clapping it. After you've done that, I would like you to write two more rhythms of your own. And this time, I'd like you to actually write the notes, uh, like we have here, the dots and the lines, the crotchets and the quavers, and then write the words underneath. So you have both of them, so you can get used to writing the notes. And then have a go at clapping those. And as I said before, once you've done that, you should have uh, four rhythms or four and words with them on your piece of paper, which I'd like you to take a photo of and send to me. Once that has been done, I would like you to um, get on to Class Charts and continue with your Djembe research project. So this can be found on Class Charts, as I just said, uh, on homework under Research Project. And you should get around to completing slides one and two during this lesson. This does not need to be uploaded yet. This is a continuing piece of work, but uh, it will be expected to be uploaded by the end of uh, this half term at the very least. So get moving on it and don't just leave it to the last minute. Well done uh, and uh, work hard. Well done.